was watching a post on uh, Facebook and somebody asked, uh, hey, I uh, called Ream up and they said I could only get about 13 degree split and that was normal. Is that even possible? And yeah, the answer is absolutely yes. I'm sitting out here in my shop and uh, let's just take a look here. I have an 11 degree split and it's showing it's in range. And if I tap on that target there, you can see the calculated target is 13.1. And so, well, what's going on right there? Well, I'm gonna hit the outdoor button again here. We're gonna look at our return air wet bulb and dry bulb, right? Very warm return air, 83 degree return air. But look at that wet bulb. That wet bulb is at 75.9 degrees. Now, if we go into our indoor measurements here, you can see that's about 70% relative humidity. So super high humidity. And what that means is, if we go to the performance section here, if we look at our sensible and we look at our latent, we're actually doing more latent cooling. In other words, we're doing more dehumidification than we are sensible cooling. So in fact, to the tune of about a sensible heat ratio of 0.45, meaning that 45% of the energy is going to cooling the air and 55% of the energy is going to dehumidification. So this machine is obviously a giant dehumidifier right now, and until we get that load under control, it's not gonna operate normally. Now also, if we like go into performance here for just a minute, you'll see that you know we're normalized to 18,959 BTUs. And under normal conditions, that's about what we'd have, but this system uh, is equipped with a fixed orifice. And so the fixed orifice, what's gonna happen there is, again, because of that high wet bulb, let's take a look here at our target superheat. We have a target superheat of about 32.5 degrees, and if anything, we're a tiny bit overcharged at 28 degrees of superheat, but that high superheat is robbing our evaporator coil of capacity. So again, the reason we have this low capacity is because we have a high return air wet bulb temperature, a high return air dry bulb temperature, we have a high superheat target, which is robbing the system of capacity. We have high humidity, which is robbing it of temperature split. And as soon as everything gets back into normal range, it's gonna tell us, hey, yeah, everything's fine. So the only thing that Measure Quick is really flashing right now is that slight overcharge of refrigerant and our sensible capacity is low. And once we get, again, once that system runs for an hour or two and we get that humidity under control, things will start to fall into range and the system will act normal. But to answer the question, is a temperature split of 11, 12 degrees normal? Yeah, it can be, and it all depends on the relative humidity, and there's a lot more to this, but uh, hopefully you got enough out of it to understand that uh, sometimes you just gotta give the system time to settle out and operate normally, and you don't want, like right now, if you were to set this to a 20 degree split, you'd have really low airflow. Because you can see right here also, you know, we're only at 81% of our airflow target. We're at 488 standard CFM. But if I go into my performance section, you can see that I'm actually moving about 528 ACFM, actual CFM, which again, once that air density drops, comes back up again, like right now the air density is really low, I'll scroll down here. Our air density is 0 0.069, standard air density is 0 0.075, meaning we're moving a lot less pounds of air across the coil. But once that air gets dehumidified, and once that air gets down to temperature, that air density is gonna go up and we'll be moving closer to 539 standard CFM. So this is actual CFM, but we'll also be moving closer to 539 actual CFM. And then we're closer to 350 CFM per ton, which is totally fine for this unit. But all these things work together. Temperature, humidity, wet bulb, temperature split, air density. And when we're way outside of design conditions, you gotta make sure that you're following measure quick, you're following that target temperature split and you're not going off rules of thumb because you'll end up with really, really low airflow and a frozen up coil once the system actually gets into normal operating conditions.